Hello and welcome back to Stubble Debbie, and this is episode 44 of Ocean Block. <laughs> We're back again, and uh, I've been doing stuff in between episodes. I got some things done. Uh, and then we're gonna finish off the RF tool section today, hopefully. Um, I did a few quests to sort of help, uh, so I didn't know if I could squeeze it all in, because there was quite a bit, but the, the recipes were pretty easy. Uh, so uh, most of it just took basic stuff. Uh, all of this, I think this one, it had a funny uh, base, a machine base, which is just like this. But other than that, uh, pretty much everything was pretty basic. And we got all of these done. Let's see what we get. Oh, are you kidding me? That is great! Because <laughs> I just used my last machine casing. Uh, more flux blocks, okay. More garden cloche. Some orange. I think I already had orange pebbles. A tier 3 storage module. That's not bad. The tier 4 is the best, I think. Uh, but we're not using that anymore. We have RS system. RS system. Okay, so. I'll have to start using this one now. Uh, that mob crusher is pretty nice though. That is pretty nice. So let's see if we can knock uh, these other quests out. There's six of them. A power cell medium. A dimensional cell. Charged Porter. Okay, that doesn't look too terribly bad. This power cell also took these. Uh, I never made those before. Um, just takes uh, quite a bit of redstone and stuff. So. Let's start with the power cell medium. Power four power core mediums. Oh, it also takes the power cell load. Uh, does this one also dimensional cell? No, it just takes a machine frame. I don't know that I have prismarine shards. I may, I actually, I may have some up top, possibly. Let's look in here first, just in case. No, okay. I may have some up here, but not 100% certain. Uh, I think we could probably get some fairly easy at one of those Monuments? What? I'm still what I'm looking for. No, I just don't see any. Ah, prismarine crystals, not shards. I wonder if. Can you make crystals? Can you 
can get it in a multi servo press. But I didn't have any Chris Green. Um, okay. We'll have to go get our wetsuit on. See if we can get these blocks. here to the southeast. Let's go see if we can find what we're looking for. I don't recall. We might be able to Marine. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Whoa, it's too powerful. I, why did it get the stone brick pillars too? So you can put that in the multi cerebral press and get four prismarine shards. We can do that. Because we have a multi cerebral press. And that would, how many do we need? We need. No. What's it? This one. Oh. We just need two. What? Um, it says, oh, you have to have an unpacking die. Uh, let's look at that. Bar plates and two Constantin plates. Uh, I know I have an bar probably. I don't know about the Constantin. Oh, what was I thinking? Okay, I can just put one down right here. So, there we go, that's constant 10. 
I think it's three copper. No, it's one for one. Okay. So we throw these in there. Those. And then what what were we making again? A unpacking guy. Accepts any Minecraft planks. Okay. Why doesn't it oh because I'm out. There we go. Nope. Okay, that and that. Whoa, that was fast. Does that okay it does? Awesome. Uh let's just do a handful of those. Boop boop boop. So we have the power cell low. We need the power cell medium. So, and we did get dimensional shards when we went to the end. So we need four of those. Pop that in. And we got a power cell medium. Nice. And then the dimensional cell. Uh, let's get you gone. Uh, that should be everything. Dimensional cell. Okay. And then that one's pretty easy. A charged quarter. The RF charged item allows you to teleport to a previously set matter receiver. Sneak right click on a receiver to set the destination. Right click to perform the teleport. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, we'll play with those later. I want to get the other three done now. A oh, tier six add-on. Nice. A great fairy ring. Oh, that's kind of cool. That uh has a 0.25% pixie spawn chance. Um, I don't think... Oh, I guess I can wear it. Because uh, I already have two rings on, but, you know. Got ten fingers. <laughs> so that's cool. Crystallite helmet. All right. Let's put you away. And then, I don't think I have a tier six add-on in here. Okay. Put you go in there. All right. Let's see if we can knock out the last three quests. Power cell high. Dimensional cell advanced. And an advanced charge order. You can store it to eight locations. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. All right. What does it take for these? These look a little bit more complicated. This one takes the medium power cell. Uh, and high power cores. And there we go, power cell high. 
slot can store power and be combined with other cells. So how many does that that holds? 20 million F RF. FE. Oh wow, this one takes the dimensional cell. There we go. And we need four more infused diamonds. Hope I have enough of this dimensional shards. Oh, <laughs> I only have 30 left. What? There we go. Advanced dimensional cell. And now an advanced charged order. Oh, we need the charged order. Oh, I think it's it does not like that it's charged. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, that's a big celebration. Awesome. I have to play with that. That sounds like fun. Teleporting around. Awesome. So let's see what our other rewards are. Blitz Seeds, and that finished off a quest. Avoid Sigil, and an Elementium Helmet. I really need to sort these out by mod so I know where to look. There used to be a way to sort items into a chest from the system based on mod. So you could sort, uh, have it pull items out based on the current, like a particular mod, like industrial foregoing or something like that. Oh yeah, we got the mystical agriculture one. Herculean flux storage, nice. Oh. Although I'm liking the power uh, versus uh, flux. I'm happy with the power, the power of cables and such energy storage. Um, we do have multiple channels, although I'm only using the one. Uh, I do have this other one uh, that has 11 million <laughs> FE, and it's sitting there. It's producing, what are they? I don't even have these fully upgraded yet, and they're producing 80 RF each. So that could be increased, but I, I haven't really prioritized it because... I have 19,000 coming out of this guy. Um, so. And we get wireless charging. So anytime I'm around base, I'm always being charged up on my, uh, my battery that I got as a quest reward. <laughs> Uh, although we should soon be able to uh, make our own one of these because I have the spirited stuff coming in. Uh, this being pulled out, this too spirited. Yeah, we got 16 old crystals. We've gotten 16 seeds in the time it took to make 16 crystals because it takes nine. Nine bits for each one. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, that did not go in. I was like, where did it go? It's not here. Awesome. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what to do next. Uh, I've only got like a couple more in this section. Slime and turtle, mystical flowers and honey. I think the honey is going to be an issue. <laughs> uh, I don't have any bees. And so, yeah. I could get it if I had a honey agglomeratio, but you already have to have honey in order to get honey. So, I don't know. Is there a way to make it? Yeah, it all takes honey. You can make honey, but you gotta have honey. Um, Endearium seeds look cool. I wonder if they have Lumium seeds, Constantin Electrum, Osmium Elementium, Signalum. I would like to have those. There it is Lumium, Signalum, and um, Endearium. Those are the three uh, alloys that Thermal Series uh, upgrades or the components take. And to get them all the way up to the Enderium, you need those three alloys. Which I have, I have been doing. I, I still don't, haven't upgraded these. Uh, with any augmentations because if, if you look they're not running all the time um, so there's no rush to speed them up I think maybe I might need one in the iron because uh, let's look at the iron clusters I guess we don't have any. I guess we don't really need it, but I think this one stays running more than all of them. So if I was going to put one in there, it would be that one. But all the others, um, they, they are off and on all the time. So yeah, I've been slowly getting seeds. I'm thinking about getting the nitro crystal seeds and then making a reactor out of that. Um, so that we could have the best the best reactor and not have to worry about upgrading it. And see how much power that gives us and hope that it can run <laughs> at least one of those power pots. That's crazy. Um, so also I think I might in between episodes work on upgrading these to the Wyvern tier because uh, you also get a new power pot at the Wyvern tier. You get the Mark II's um, but I'm not in a rush with that because uh, it's a ways to go before I can support one of those um, power pots <laughs> just yet. That's a lot of energy. If it really consumes 50,000 a tick, this isn't enough. Um, and I would hope that... Uh, Oh, it's only doing 17,000 a tick. 
I wonder why. Um, I don't know. Efficiency. Fluctuates. I haven't changed anything. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, so we finished our quest. Honestly, we could get all of these done uh, with our current technology and resources. We could probably even finish off uh, AE2 if, if I wanted to, although I don't know, I don't really have a desire to work with AE2. Um, I like the original AE. Uh, but then it just seemed like they made it too complicated for me. Um, it's not that I can't understand it. I just think it's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> if that makes sense. I, I like the level of simplicity that the RF tools. Uh, this, this feels like a E to me. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't have a desire to go down this, this route. Uh, although, you know, I might change my mind later on, I don't know, uh, just to complete it. Uh, I still haven't started Blood Magic or Batania. Um, I don't know, I've just been having so much fun going through the tech. <laughs> um, I haven't touched integrated dynamics. We still have more mini utilities to do a few more. Maybe we'll work on this one next. Uh, get the unstable drum, the netherite reinforced drum, and some solar panels, lunar panels, Quantum quarry speed upgrades. Let's see how much this changed from the regular X3 utilities. I don't know. Um, but we're also getting close to having all of this done as well. We need to uh, progress through draconic. Uh, evolution in order to get the upgraded power pots. So like this one takes um, a wyvern tier of uh, fusion crafting core. This one takes uh, draconic and this one takes chaotic. And 768 million OP. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad, except for the ultimate energy cube. Oh yeah, look at all that. Ah. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and leave the episode here. Oh look, I got my scuba gear on. Forgot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.